Like if you buy a stock in Coca-Cola, it grows very slowly to not at all, pays consistent dividends, and you still got to go pay for their product when you want it. Full price, right? Or if you buy a, into a, you know, a small cap company, right? You know, it's not going to pay you any dividends. It's probably losing money, but the stock could triple in value in a year's time and you get no uh, benefits for being an owner and a stockholder. But when you buy a house as an investment, especially a short-term rental, you can vacation there effectively for free. It provides income every month and it appreciates in value pretty much year after year. You know, there's no other investment out there that does that. Oh, and by the way, you can leverage it more than any other investment out there as well. You know, as a standard conventional loan, you can get 80% leverage. You only got to buy 20% of the home and you can make your short-term tenants pay all of that and use the house in the process. There's no other investment like that. Wow. I love your perspective on combining it as a growth stock and a dividend paying stock, and you can leverage it and providing you with a lot of the, I guess, in a way it's addition. I think, especially for short-term rental, it's like a way for you to up your lifestyle a little bit too, as you're making these investment work. So I love that perspective, Trevor. So 